You're listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour. If you miss any of the program, you can find the podcast at the bottom of the page at SunnyRadio.com. Give yourself a little credit. It's more important than ever to have a better credit card. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday. So excited to have Brent Baker joining us on this Labor Day Monday. He'll be in here to chat about real estate. I love doing that. Every Monday, get a little real estate update. And this Monday, even though it is Labor Day, still going to chat with Brent Baker coming your way here in a bit. We also have a movie star Monday. I have Josh Place, and he is a pretty cool dude. He's actually doing something amazing. Uh, he's in movies and TV shows, but we're not talking about that today. We're talking about Operation 22. He's out literally doing a 22-mile huck, uh, ruck pack run every single day for 22 days. We're right in the middle of it. Going to catch up with him coming up in a bit. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour on a Monday. It's Labor Day today, and I have Brent Baker joining me for a real estate update. First of all, happy Labor Day to you, sir. Well, thank you, John, and happy Labor Day to you. So we've been doing uh, all kinds of fun things where we're teaching people and we're learning all kinds of stuff about uh, real estate. And and today we're going to talk about some myths because there's some myths out there. And uh, some of these are big myths where people don't necessarily know this isn't quite accurate. So let's talk about some of the myths, and we'll maybe do this over the next couple of weeks, but we'll start today. So what, what is the first real estate myth? Well, and it's an old, old theme among realtors, but go to the lenders and get pre-approved. Um, you know, a lot of people think, oh, I can do that after I find the house. But even in a market that is a little bit stagnant like we're in, you can lose out because yeah. it might take a day or two, depending on what they need, to get you approved, and you could lose that house. And the other thing is you might fall in love with a house that's just outside of your affordability. And why wouldn't you get pre-approved? Because that's that's everything about that makes sense because now I know how much I can afford. doesn't mean you have to spend that much, by the way. Correct. But then you also, when you're walking in to make an offer, you're walking in to make a real offer rather than I want to make an offer, but I need to get an approval first. So. Well, very few realtors are going to write that offer, Yeah, at least the good ones. Um, we don't want to waste our time. We don't want to waste your time. We certainly don't want to tick off a seller. Yeah. And as a seller, a seller wants confidence that you have the ability to perform when they're looking at your offer. Yeah. So uh, number one real estate myth, you shouldn't get, bother getting pre-approved. Yes, you should. You should bother getting pre-approved. And it's not much of a bother. Uh, what's real estate myth number two? Uh, the schools don't matter if you don't have kids. Okay. So the school district kind of does matter, doesn't it? It really does. Uh, if you have a child with special needs, certain school districts rank really well in those areas or may have programs while other areas may not. Um, we hear it all the time. Or they, their kids started in this school district and they want them to keep their friends. And so... In Sioux Falls, you know, moving a block can change two out of the three schools that your kids are in. Yeah. So it really is important. And even if it's not something that matters to you, someday when you're going to sell that house, it's going to matter to you because it's going to matter to the people that are buying that. Correct. And, you know, some people say, well, you know, a lot can change or, um, you know, the buyers may not have the same needs. But it's not uncommon to hear people say, I need to be in this district because I have a child that is in this activity and yeah. it's, this is where it ranks well, or I have a special needs child, so I need to be in this district. Absolutely. Those are important factors. Very nice. So real estate myth number three, what is that? 
Um, that realtors don't show properties listed by other firms. They think mm-hmm. we only want to show what's listed with our firm. And that's absolutely false. I know that's not true with you because when we were looking for homes a little over a year ago, I think you showed us every house that was on the market. So, <laughs> Well, that's kind of the goal. I mean, you're not going to buy anything if you don't like it. So, no, my, I felt bad for Brent because Heidi would, she would find something and say, oh, hey, we got to go look at this house. I'm like, just... Can we drive by it first before we bother Brent? <laughs> so I apologize uh, again for that. But no, we, we were looking at all kinds of stuff that were listed by all, all kinds of different firms. Right. There, there's there's nothing to be gained by not showing the, the things that meet your criteria. Yeah. Because um, at the end of the day, you're the one spending the money. You're the one with the mortgage. I'm never going to make money if I can't get you into a house you like. Yeah. So we're going through right now some real estate myths for 2023, and we've got the first three. We're going to talk about the next few in the coming weeks here. Uh, But right now, for somebody who maybe is listening on this Labor Day going, uh, you know what? Kids are back to school. I'm settled. I'm ready. It's time to maybe find a place that I want to go. We were just talking about school districts. That's why I was thinking of that. Uh, If they would like to reach out to you and maybe take the leap and sell their house or buy a house, how do they get a hold of you, sir? I can be reached at 605 310-0297 310-0297 or Brent Baker at kw.com. Very nice. Again, Brent Baker, and he is also with Clients First Group. You can find them online at clientsfirstgroup.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If that's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring a current one. Whether you're a fan of iPhones or Samsung, they both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. This Day in Sioux Falls History is brought to you by the Sioux Falls Fun Page, West Sioux Studios, and Sun. 93.3. It was on this day, September 4th, 1883, the first of three state constitutional conventions held in South Dakota convenes here in Sioux Falls without approval of the U.S. Congress. In fact, local power brokers were trying to force Congress to grant statehood to South Dakota. The first convention, as well as the other two that would come a few years later, would be held in a building known as Germania Hall, which was built on parts of the block now occupied by Sioux Falls City Hall. This Day in Sioux Falls History has been brought to you by the Sioux Falls Fun Page, West Sioux Studios, and Sunny 93.3. Why did the chicken cross the road? To save money on insurance at insurancechicken.com. Do you have the best plan for you? Find out at insurancechicken.com. Let's face it, we don't even want insurance. We need it. But you don't need to overpay. Head over to insurancechicken.com to see your rates from several different companies. All available in one place at insurancechicken.com. The other guys have a gecko, a duck, and an emu. Why not a chicken? Insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com.